Hi, welcome back to another Mav Computers tutorial. My name is David Cease, and I'm going to walk you through this process. Today, we're going to be working with VoIP options. Please follow along. There's going to be several videos and topics that we cover. If you have any questions, please post below, and we'll be glad to answer them. Hi, welcome back to another training session. This video in the series is going to go over auto attendance. If you remember in the previous videos, we showed you the user dashboard and how to access your phone system. You go to Apps, and then Automation Manager. Once in the phone system, you're going to navigate to the Service tab at the top. And then on the left-hand menu, you're going to scroll down until you find Auto Attendance. All right. Now, typically, you're only going to have two Auto Attendants. You'll have a Main, and you'll have an After Hours. As we do a lot of testing and um, our phone system is uh, very detailed, as you can see, there's um, a lot of different types of auto attendance here. There is no limit to the amount of auto attendance you can have. So in this example, we're going to open up our main auto attendant. And let's go over the settings. As far as the name, you always want to give it a name that's appropriate to what it's doing. So for main for us is going to be our daytime message. Um, our after hours have clearly named after hours. The auto attendant timeout and the digit timeout are how long it takes for the system to recognize that no buttons have been pushed. Okay. Typically, five and two are appropriate, but you can make this longer or shorter to how your company interacts. As far as the recording or the announcement that your callers are going to hear, you can either upload a file or, from any extension on your phone system, you can simply dial the number that is listed here. For the main auto attendant, typically the number is star 321, and for the after hours, it's star 322. As you can see, you can leave it as a default recording, as well as just transferring it straight to a user's mailbox. Button configurations are how you want to interact or how you want your users to interact when they call into your phone system. Right, as you can see from our setup, we have three buttons configured. Button number one goes to an auto attendant, which then rings a few extensions that we have pushing to a ring group. Button number two goes to another auto attendant that will list out our technicians by name and allow the caller to be directed to the technician they would like to speak with. And then button three goes to a ring group, which then brings our accounting department. If the user were to press star, it would go to the auto attendant main, which is this one, and just circle back through the messages. And if they don't hit anything, it reads our business hours. As far as changes that you can make, you can turn any button into anything. So for example, if we use button four, we could do another extension, we can do a shared line appearance or to a mailbox, we can take it to another auto attendant or a ring group or even an outside number. If you want it to be like an emergency number where um, someone would press four to reach the doctor on call. Lots of options to choose from. Once you're happy with your decisions, hit the save button and wait for it to save. Typically when you save an auto attendant it can take upwards to about five minutes to go into effect. At the top of your screen, on this icon right here, you'll see a number that dictates how many changes are still left to be made. When that number disappears, your auto attendant saved. All right, that concludes our training video on auto attendance. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to us via phone, 512-251-6446, or via email, help at mavcomputers.com. Thank you. Have a great day.